Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a product comparison between two concealers and I recently just picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer from Walmart. I mentioned this in my last Walmart Spring Beauty Haul which I'll link in the description box for you guys to check out. And I already owned the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and ever since I purchased this I heard so much buzz that there was an inexpensive dupe for it which was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So of course I had to put these two to a test which we're going to do today and honestly everybody's on a budget so if this one really does work for half the amount, maybe almost three times less the amount than this one, I'd much rather use the Maybelline. So let's put it to a test. So let's talk a little bit about these products. The NARS concealer I purchased from my Sephora for $35 Canadian dollars and the Maybelline Fit Me concealer I purchased from Walmart for $8. As for the shades, in the NARS I'm using the shade Ginger and in the Maybelline the shade Medium. The NARS concealer has 10 different shades to choose from and Maybelline has 6. For packaging, they're almost identical in that they're almost the same size, the tubular form, the stripe down the side of them. I would say that the NARS looks a little bit more higher end obviously and sleek looking and they both have the doe foot applicator sponge tip. When it comes to the size, you would assume that the NARS had more product, but in fact, the Maybelline actually has 23 fluid ounces and the NARS has 22 fluid ounces with less product, barely, but just to show you how fooling packaging can be, the Maybelline actually has more. So here is the NARS swatch and this is the Maybelline. The Maybelline looks a little bit more cool toned, but based on the shades that they had in store, these are the ones that worked for me. They both feel almost the exact same when I'm blending them into my hand. They're smooth, they spread very nicely, and they seem to offer a really good amount of coverage. So now I can actually show you what it looks like under the eye. I'm going to start by placing the NARS one right underneath my right eye, your left. And the NARS concealer is supposed to blur out any signs of fine lines and wrinkles and cover up your dark circles because it's supposed to have a really good coverage. Now I'm going to start dabbing it in with my finger. The NARS concealer also claims to have a smooth application which I can agree to right now because it totally does and it's supposed to be a really hydrating and light diffusing concealer. I think it does a really good job at covering up my heavy under eye circles because you know I have them. I like that it adds a little bit of brightness under the eyes and it does a really good job at setting in very quickly. So let's go ahead and try the Maybelline under the other eye. This one is almost the exact same when I'm applying it like this. It's very fluid, it comes out very smooth and applies very easily. And looking at my footage right now, this one almost looks a lot more liquidy on camera, so it'll be interesting to see how this one's going to work. And I'm going to start dabbing this one in again with my finger. And this concealer claims to be a natural coverage. You're supposed to look how your natural skin would appear, and it's supposed to be very breathable. And what I really appreciate about this concealer, considering it is drugstore, a little amount of it goes a really long way. So now that the Maybelline is all blended in, what are you guys' thoughts? Mine are, I think the NARS definitely added a little bit more coverage to the under eye circles. The Maybelline has less coverage, but looks very skin-like. So if you're going more for that natural finish, I would think that you would do the Maybelline. You can definitely tell that there's more makeup underneath my NARS side but it definitely has more coverage. So I'm going to give each of these a light dusting of setting powder and I'm going to wear them throughout the day just as is from this moment on and I want to check back at the end of the night to see which one lasted longer, which one looks better throughout the day and I will give you my final thoughts on both of these concealers. Hey guys, I'm back and it's 9.08 and I've had these concealers on since 1.30 this afternoon so that's seven and a half hours to make up my mind and just so you know I haven't touched up the concealers one bit throughout the whole day. So here is a really close zoomed up shot of both of the under eyes. Again, this is the NARS, this is the Maybelline. I will say that both did crease underneath the eyes. If I do this you can definitely see the crease lines. They both did that. I think they both did wear off a little bit throughout the day, 
but I do think that the NARS has some extra coverage. So my final thoughts on these concealers is that I think they're both great. I think the Maybelline is very comparable to the NARS concealer, however, I would still repurchase and purchase, if you've never done so before, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because I think it does a better job, it offers more coverage, and wearing it throughout the day, I learned that it lasts just a little bit longer than the Maybelline. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up, and in the comments below, leave me which side you liked on me better. Did you like the NARS one better, or did you prefer Maybelline? Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.